Good morning, Insta Facebook land and my friends here at the studio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tuesday morning with Mystic Fitness here in Framingham. It is a gorgeous day. I woke up and I could feel how wonderful this day was going to be as soon as I woke up and it was a really interesting sensation. The spring is always, I think, such a gorgeous time because it's the time of newness where we have those little budding greens and you know what's coming and you feel the warmth of the sun and even when we have those grayer days, it's just nice to feel this season progressing. So personally, it's a time for movement. This practice today, we're gonna to have a little bit more movement to it. If that doesn't feel right for you, you can always take it at whatever pace feels right for you. And I encourage you to honor what feels right for you and for your body. So let's get ourselves in a comfortable position, whether that means you're lying down on your back or if you wanna be seated. And you can take some time as you start to settle. So maybe right off the bat, you close your eyes. Or you shift and just kind of take in what there is to take in within your body, your mind. As the sensations roll over the body, notice what steals your attention. Maybe we're living in the past on a memory or the excitement of the future. Or it could be something a little bit closer to home, something physical that might be ailing you for the moment. And whatever journey your mind, your attention, your body is on right now, I want to encourage you to ride with it. As we step into this present moment, you might start to bring a little bit more softening to places. So maybe encouraging the shoulders to relax, any of the muscles in the face to become soft. You might even choose to open and close the mouth or let the jaw wag from side to side. I always love the centering in on a muscle that I know has tension. And just allowing for all of the muscles around it, including that muscle, to soften. And then notice after a moment or two how you can do it again and it softens more. And you do it again and it softens even more. It's just like the journey of our own lives. You know, we take a step forward and there's more. We move and there's more. Now focus your attention on the breath. Maybe encouraging that breath to organically start to grow. You may notice there's a gentle pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. 
and a gentle pause between the exhalation and the inhalation. Maybe you encourage a little bit more length within the pause, a little bit more growing of the breath. See if you can take in a little bit more air with each and every inhale. And if you can let go a little bit more with each and every exhale. Each and every time we take a breath in, it's an opportunity for something new. You know, it's just like spring, a blossoming possibility of what's to come, an appreciation of what's already here, slowing down our breath slows down time. It sinks us to this moment where breath meets breath. It gives us the opportunity to sink deeper into the here and now, to pause this hurried, frantic state of mind and just to step in, step into the here and now. So anytime our mind gets busy, we become concerned Just step into your cone of breath. Focus in on that. Giving yourself just two more rounds of breath. What is there to explore? And what is there to let go? Give yourself one more deep breath in. Let it go through the nose. One more breath. And letting it go. And taking your time, we'll gently meet in a seated position. And if you're in a seated position already, just start to allow for the head to rock from side to side, tick-tocking in this little pendulum-like action. And I want you to luxuriate yourself in this silky movement. I don't want things to feel sharp. I want you to be kind to the body. Things can intensify, and sometimes we think of intensity as what's going to really change our bodies, what's going to change our minds, but sometimes the kinder path can lead to a deeper sense of opening because we don't always have to be so harsh. You know, healing from within, strength, can come like a building of a foundation rather than a piling up. And maybe you start to circle out the neck if that feels good for you. You can always continue to go in the side-to-side -side motion if that feels best. And just letting the breath move you, letting it feel organic and smooth. And then when you're ready, just going in the opposite direction. We give ourselves this opportunity to peel away any of those layers of tension so that we can take away that little kind of emotional crutch that we've been leaning on and we can feel comfortable with just standing 
on our own. And you can start to move those shoulders around. Maybe you create a spiraling motion, or circling motion. Maybe you wanna do a little bit of alternating of the shoulders. And you can go forwards or backwards. There's no right or wrong. There's just the sensation of what it feels like to be you right here and right now. And if you want to do some side to side motions, you can feel free to add those in. I always love a little bit of organic play at the beginning and also in the middle and the end. <laughs> so often we're just kind of told what we have to do and we just kind of follow those cues and we almost forget that our instinct is there for a reason that guide within us is there and i want to encourage you to listen to it and if you wanted to do some twists of the torso that might feel really good for the back for the hips and anytime i'm in any kind of position or asana I'm always exploring how it move, how it affects the rest of my body. So the head, the neck, the shoulders can move. You don't always have to be in stillness to feel the profound calmness. And then when you're ready, we'll gently press ourselves forward to come into our tabletop position. And you might choose to come more into a tabletop position with those palms straight down or fingers can be pressing down or you can make two fists or hands on blocks, whatever feels right for you. We'll find a few cats and cows and I want you to move slowly with the breath. Let the tailbone lift, the belly lower, the chest presses to the front of the mat and I want your front of the arms to face the front of the mat. As you exhale, round the back, press it up to the sky and bring your chin to your chest. On your inhale, lift the tailbone, open up the heart space, maybe movement in the head, the neck. And on your exhale, round into it. Finding a few more movements like this. Notice where it feels sticky within our body or where it feels sweet and gliding. when you're ready you can press the hips back to the heels and the forehead can come down to stacked hands or down to the mat and you can open up those knees as wide as you feel like as you come into child's pose rocking the head from side to side maybe offering a generous bend of the elbow so those shoulders can relax or maybe you feel like a little bit more activation you can press the fingertips down into the mat those elbows can come off the mat and maybe you're trying to drop one shoulder down and then the other getting some opening within the backs of the shoulders the lats movement within that thoracic spine that mid part of our back doesn't have to be big just has to feel good and we'll come into our tabletop position and we're gonna step our right foot to the back of the mat. And then we are going to lift the foot up, coming directly from the hip. Gaze stays down. As an option, you can take and extend that left arm forward. Notice if once you lifted arm and leg, if you dip down into that lower back, I want to encourage you to tuck the pelvis and to really squeeze into that right glute. Take a deep breath in right here. And on your exhale, curl knee and elbow in towards each other, rounding the back. Inhale to extend. And exhale to curl it in. Two more times. Inhale to extend. Push the ground away with that right hand. Exhale, curl it in. And inhale to extend and exhale to curl it in now we are going to extend arm and leg and then we're going to take our arm bring it off to the left and our leg off to the right just see what this feels like 
Yeah. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, release hand and knee down to the ground. We're gonna do it on the other side. So that left foot goes to the back of the mat. Make sure those hips are nice and even, and then lift the foot up at hip height. Now from here, extending that right hand forward, push into that left hand so that we're not dumping into the wrist. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, curl knee and elbow in towards each other. Inhale to reach, and exhale to curl it in. Two more times, reach, and squeeze. Last time, reach, and squeeze. Now we're gonna reach arm and leg away from each other and then open them up to the sides. Right hand to the right, left leg to the left. Push into the ground with the right knee, left hand. Deep breath in. And exhale, drop hand and knee down. Tuck your toes, lift your knees to a hover. Hollowing out right here, tuck the pelvis. Relax the jaw, you can open and close the mouth a few times. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And on your exhale, drop the knees down, press back into your child's pose. Take a deep breath in right here. And out. Inhale, press up, tabletop position. Tuck in those toes, lift the knees off of the mat, come into your hover. From this hovering position, I want you to activate the abs. We are gonna lift up the right hand and drop it down. Lift up the left and drop it down, lift up the right foot, drop it down, lift up the left, and drop it down. Now press those hips back and up, come into your downward facing dog. Paddle out the feet by bending one knee, bending the next. And take your time as you try to press those opposite heels down to the ground. Shimmy the hips, shake out the head, yes. Shake out the head, no. Maybe you bend your knees a lot and try to lift the tailbone high up to the sky. Maybe you're paying attention to your shoulders and you're finding movement within the shoulders. Give yourself one more deep breath in and out. Slowly bending those knees, I want you to walk your feet towards your hands. Coming into your forward fold, elbows to thighs, or coming into ragdoll position, your choice. You might rock the torso side to side. Now normally, I want you to have that gaze going between the legs, and this is no different. So notice if there's any kind of held tension within the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in and out. Slowly bending those knees, inhale, rolling up to standing. You can circle those arms up to the sky. Let this be a celebration of life. Exhale, hands come to the heart space. Notice how you are right now. Notice how we change. The breath offers healing. The breath offers this sense of renewal. Let your feet separate to the sides of the mat. On your inhale, we're gonna take and sweep those arms up to the sky. Now on your exhale, you're gonna take those two hands, sweep them behind the legs or in between the legs. On your inhale, we're gonna stand up tall. Now on your exhale, we're gonna sweep the hands over to the right and you're gonna lift up the left heel just to pivot. Yeah, inhale, come back up to center. Exhale through the center line. Inhale up, 
and exhale over to the left inhale up exhale straight down inhale up exhale to the right inhale up and over to the left up and to the right up straight down up and over to the left one more full range up straight down and up and right and up and down and up and to the left up straight down straight up take a deep full stretch and on your exhale hands come together hinge forward forward fold slide the hands to the shins halfway lift and exhale hands to the ground step your feet to the back of your mat come into your plank holding your plank squeeze your quads tuck that pelvis push the ground away with your hands look straight down notice if there's ways that you can soften the shoulders tuck that pelvis a little bit more you can always release the knees down to the earth we're going to fight gravity so either way knees down or up slowly start to bend those elbows fight gravity as you come down chest then belly to the ground once you're down relax the tops of the feet squeeze those glutes inhale head shoulders lift up slide shoulders away from the ears tuck the pelvis to protect the lower back as you exhale release inhale press up tabletop exhale tuck the toes down dog pedal the feet take a deep breath in and out inhale we're going to take that left leg Oop, right leg right leg right leg <laughs> lift it up to the sky tee hee on your exhale we're going to step that foot towards the front of our mat now you always have the option to bring a block underneath the left hand if you choose to and slowly spiral right hand up to the sky option to release left knee down to the mat is always there so whether we choose to do it or not is up to you take a deep breath in and on your exhale release the hand down lift your hips up and step both feet to the back of the mat coming into your plank fight gravity slow descent down let those elbows go back to the ribs chest hits before the belly fight that last moment once down release the tops of the feet squeeze glutes inhale head shoulders lift up exhale to release down push up tabletop exhale down dog take a deep breath in exhale through the nose take that left leg <laughs> inhale reach it up and on your exhale step that foot towards the front of your mat again option to release the right knee down if you want anchoring into a block with the right hand on your inhale reach 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 left hand up to the sky squeeze front leg back leg in towards each other on your exhale release the hand down lift your hips up and sweep that left leg back to meet the right plank slow motion draw those elbows into the ribs fight gravity where's the place that you're just going to release once down squeeze those glutes protect the lower back head shoulders lift squeeze those thighs exhale release down push up tabletop exhale downward facing dog take a deep breath in shake out the head yes and no mm. on your inhale bend those knees look forward you can walk hop or step your feet to the front of your mat whatever feels right for you bend those knees blossom up grow up towards the sky 
palms together, exhale, swing the hands behind the back of the head, bend those knees, tuck the pelvis, lean back, relax the jaw, inhale, hands lift up towards the ceiling, and exhale, sink into your chair. Relax those shoulders, roll them down and back. On your inhale, we're going to sweep the hands up, stand up tall, and then on your exhale, we're going to come down, arms sweep back. Inhale, stand up tall, and then exhale. Now you have the option here, you could lift up to heels. When you're down, you could even offer a hop. So you can do a couple different things, or you could stay low just in that little ukatasana, that chair. I almost think of it as like a little skier position. But jumping is really good for the body when it has control. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be huge in order for it to have a big impact. Whatever feels right for you, maybe you just do one hop. And one hop can turn into 10. Or maybe you don't do any. Either way, what is it your body calls for today? We're going to go for another, maybe four more. And I don't hear any of you landing. Do you know that makes me so happy? Protect those joints. Keep the knees bent. Last one. Stand up tall, inhale, exhale, hands to our heart space. Take a deep breath in and out, release hands. Inhale, circle arms up, exhale, right hand down, left hand reaches. Inhale up and exhale, opposite side. Inhale up, exhale, hinge down through the center, bend the knees, fold forward. Slide your hands to your shins, halfway lift. And exhale, hands to the ground, step your feet to the back of your mat, plank. So whether you want to be in plank, knees, or straight down on the ground with your toes tucked, power, you do what feels right for you. Shake your head yes, yes. Shake your head no. <laughs> but yes, today we're going for yes. Or no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, sure. That's both a yes. All right, here we go. Take a deep breath in, shift forward slightly. Exhale, high plank to low plank or all the way down. Flip the feet, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Get your feet together at the back of your mat and on your inhale, right leg sweeps up. Bend the knee, stack that right hip on top of the left, just for a breath. Inhale and exhale. Neutralize the hips. Inhale, reaching right leg up. Exhale, sweep it forward, three-legged plank. Inhale up. Exhale, knee into chest, three-legged plank. And one more time, inhale up. And exhale, three-legged plank. Step that foot to the front of your mat. Now here we go, torso comes up off of that right thigh. Arms stretch back. Gaze is down. Legs may be quivering. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Either way, what does it feel like for you? What adjustments do you have to make? On your next inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Now you might have to adjust. So move the feet if you need a little bit more support. We're gonna slide our hands behind the back of our head. And I want you to stack the right knee over the ankle. Take a deep breath in here. Now on your exhale, you're gonna take that left elbow, curl it to the right knee. Inhale, come on up. 
and exhale to curl. Inhale up. If curling doesn't feel right, a twist is totally appropriate. Inhale up and exhale to curl. And one more time. Inhale up and exhale to curl. Now inhale, come on up. Reach the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, bend both knees. I want you to really tuck left hip flexor. Lean that torso back. Yeah. I can't see your faces, so I'm going to trust you. Lift the corners of your mouth. When something feels hard, how do you face it? Take one more deep breath in. Now on your exhale, I want you to plunge forward. Come into your warrior three or airplane, lifting up that back leg. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Regardless if arms are extended forward or off to the sides, those shoulders and ears have a lot of space. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, we're going to open up into our warrior two. As we blossom open into warrior two, adjust. Yeah, so that front foot, right foot facing forward, relax those toes. Yeah, I like that little like of the toes. Can you see your right big toe? If not, I encourage you to just get that left toe facing more towards the front left corner of your mat. So it's okay if the hips are facing at an angle. Nothing is perfect in life. Everything is an adjustment. Now we are gonna take that left hand, we're gonna bring it down to the hips, Inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna pull it back you're, like you're about to loosen the arrow. Inhale, circle it down and forward. And on your exhale, pull it back. And two more times down, forward, and pull it back. And last time, down, forward, and pull it back. Flip that front hand up to the sky. Inhale, reach it up. And then as you exhale, just release that left hand anywhere that feels comfortable. So it could go into a half bind. It could just release down to the leg. Yeah. Relax the right shoulder away from the ear. As we find this reverse warrior, what does this mean for you? Sometimes we just do these poses without the thought of the connection of our mind and body. And whether it's a judgment about how we do it or what it means for us to kind of celebrate in the midst of feeling this power, we celebrate the sky, the clouds. On your inhale, we're going to come back, warrior two. And on your exhale, right elbow down, left arm stretches to the front of your mat. Lean that left shoulder back, look up towards the ceiling, extended side angle. Any variations that you want to do, you do it. Maybe you're finding a full bind or a half bind. Maybe you want that left arm to straight up towards the sky. This is your practice, right? So you do what feels right for you. Releasing the hands wherever they are, I want you to press into your feet. Find that foundation. On your inhale, use those abdominals to come up. Extending those arms, we are going to come forward into our Ardha Chandrasana. So shift into that right foot. Start to find power as you lift up that left leg. Maybe you're leaning against a wall. There's no cheating in yoga, right? We're doing it, just like Yoda says. What is it, do or do not, there is no try. We're doing it. And whether we fall out of it, we still did it. That's it. Give yourself one more deep breath in. And then on your exhale, can you bend that right knee a lot and step back with that left foot softly. Now straighten the right leg and dial the right toes to the left side of your mat. 
I want you to open up the chest, broaden it, gaze looks up. On your exhale, hinge forward, wide-legged forward fold. And you can release down into this wide-legged for forward fold, shaking out the head, or doing side-to-side -side lunges, if that felt really good for you. I want to encourage you to find expression and movement that you need for your body for today. Taking a deep breath in and out. Maybe you shift from toes to heels a bunch of times. Maybe you wiggle the hips a little bit. Maybe you're doing some twists. Wherever you are, I want you to allow for all of those little pockets of tension to release. Give yourself one more deep breath in and out. Let the heels draw in once or twice, and then we are going to bring our hands to the thighs inside of the knees, and then you're going to come up into our little modified goddess pose. So the torso is still folding forward in our 45 degree angle. And from here, you can sink those hips down as much as you want, butt back, torso forward. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, I want you to twist to the right. So you can really press left hand into that left inner thigh to feel an opening of the inner thighs. And I'm pulling back leg from the hip, pressing into it. Inhale, come back to center. And on your exhale, twist to the opposite direction. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, twist to the opposite side. Inhale, come on back to center. Slowly come on up to standing. You're going to face your toes to the front of your mat and lift up the left heel. Circle the arms up to the sky. Deep breath in. Now on your exhale, hands come and they frame the right foot. That left leg lifts up to the sky, standing half split. Take a deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in. And on your exhale, softly plant left foot to the back of the mat. Sweep both feet to the back of the mat. Staying here for a second. I want you to get that left hand under the shoulder. Drop the heels to the left. Open up to the right into our side plank. Now, pausing here for a second, you can find any variation that feels fun. Fun, right? It's fun. It's fun. Hello, world. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, let that right hand come down, reestablish, and then we'll switch the opposite side. Now, whatever feels fun, free, kind of any variation you need, support yourself. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, plant that left hand down. Shift forward, inhale. Knees to earth or not, exhale, high plank, low plank. Either all the way down, halfway down, inhale, cobra or up dog. What up dog? Exhale to your down dog or child's pose. Take a deep breath in and out. Get your feet together at the back of the mat. Inhale, we're going to sweep the left leg up. Exhale, knee into chest, three-legged plank. Oh, we're back here. Inhale up. And exhale, knee into chest, three-legged plank. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale, three-legged plank. We're going to reach that leg right back up to the sky. And then we're going to stack it. So you can lift up a little bit higher, bending and straightening, just for a breath. Inhale. 
and exhale. Neutralize the hips, inhale, and on your exhale, step the left foot to the front of your mat. Now, let that torso come up off of the thigh. Arms reach back, finding that 45 degree angle. Press back foot, front leg in towards each other. Squeeze those inner thighs. Now on your inhale, sweep the arms up. Yeah, good. Now, hands go behind the back of the head. Now, it could be just a twist to the side, yeah? Or it could be a total twist down. Whatever feels right for you. Inhale. Exhale, cross. Left elbow to the right knee. Inhale up. And exhale. Right elbow to the left knee. Right? Yeah. Okay, inhale up. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Now inhale up, pause. Bend that back knee. Hands can go anywhere that feels comfortable. I want you to tuck that right hip flexor forward. If you don't feel this, lean back. When I move, you move, just like that. Lean back. I think that's two different songs, but guess what? That's called the mashup. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> Take one more deep breath in and out. Okay, are you ready? Warrior three or airplane, adjust as you shift forward, lifting up that back leg. Maybe you bend deeply into the base leg and press back into the glute. Feels like a big opening happening from that left glute. Take one more deep breath in. And then as softly as you can, can you open up warrior two? So adjust the body as you groove. Look to that front left big toe. Can you see it? Yes? Awesome. No, adjust. Don't be afraid to move. So now we're going to take our right hand. We're going to sweep it to the left. And on your exhale, pull it back. Inhale, sweep it down. Left hand, or it goes to the left hand. Exhale, pull it back. Right hand sweeps down. And exhale, pull it back. One more time, just for fun. Sweep it down, forward, pull it back on your exhale. On your inhale, flip so that left hand reaches up. Right hand goes anywhere that feels comfortable in our reverse warrior. Relax those shoulders away from the ears. Again, in the midst of having that label, warrior, can you find the celebration of your own strength, of your own power? Can you celebrate what it's like to push beyond, to find a bigger foundation, or to pull back and to be soft and kind? On your next inhale, I want you to come back, warrior two. Transition, exhale, left elbow down onto the knee or in front of the leg, right arm stretches forward. Extended side angle, lean that right shoulder back and relax the left toes. Find any variation that feels good for you. This is your celebration. Maybe you're up higher, maybe you're moving. Relax the jaw, relax your shoulders. Soften the space around the eyes. We're going to release our hands to help us. On your inhale, press into the feet. Tuck the pelvis. Torso comes up. Now, are you ready? Ardha Chandrasana. Shift into that left leg. The right hand can come to hip or straight up to the sky. That right leg reaches straight up. Maybe there's a leaning back against the wall because there's no cheating in yoga. Does it feel good? Awesome. Maybe we indulge in that. Give yourself two more breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale. 
One more breath, inhale. Now on your exhale, can you bend that left knee and softly plant right foot to the back of your mat, straightening the left leg, toes to the right. Take a deep breath in, open up the chest. On your exhale, hinge forward, wide-legged forward fold. Shaking out the head, yes. No, maybe you want to do those side-to-side -side lunges. Maybe there's something else you want to do. Maybe you want to just be still and lie down. Think of the walls and the boundaries that we build up around ourselves. And just let the breath soften any of the sharp edges that you might feel. Taking a deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. We're going to bring those heels in, toes out. We're going to come back into that little modified chair goddess pose. So that torso is hinging forward. And in this position, maybe you sink down a little bit more. So it's a little bit of malasana mixed with goddess. A little bit of shifting, a little bit of movement. See what feels right for you. If you want to touch down into malasana for a second and just see what it feels like in a wider position, you can go for it. Maybe this helps to open up the lower back. Or maybe you want to stay up higher and do those twists. It's like a choose your own adventure because after all, that's what life is about. We choose our own adventures. We walk on the path. We walk. We see what we see. And then when you're ready, we're going to straighten those legs and stand up tall. Toe heel the feet in a few times. And we are going to find our traditional goddess pose. So knees, toes are turned out. And they're going in the same direction so we can protect those knees. If the knees aren't matching, draw those toes in. Sink down as low as you can. We're going to find a little hint of a, a pulse. Just a little hint. It's like when you have bubbly water and there's an essence of something in there. Right? Notice how the heart rate goes up. Do we turn away from that? For last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press to come up. All toes to the front of your mat. Lifting up that right heel, sweep the arms up. Inhale, exhale, hands frame that front foot. Lift that right leg up. Standing split. Yeah. Give yourself the biggest breath. And out. Inhale. Bending that left knee. Plant that right foot to the back of the mat. Let the left leg join besties. Take a deep breath in. Shift forward. Our knees are not high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, either up dog or cobra. Exhale to your down dog. Release the knees to the earth. Press back, child's pose. Pausing in this, take a deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. Maybe you're rocking the head from side to side. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders, shifting within the hips. There's a lot of opening that can come. When you're ready, we're going to press ourselves up into our tabletop position. Tuck the toes down, dog. Inhale. 
bending those knees, look forward. You can walk, hop, or step your feet to the front of your mat. Bend those knees a lot, and on your inhale, we roll up to standing, circling and sweeping those arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands come to our heart space. Take the hands and bring them behind the back of the head or to the sides. Bend those knees and tuck the pelvis, broaden the chest. And on your exhale, drop right elbow down, left elbow comes up to like where the ceiling and the wall meet. On your inhale, torso comes upright. And on your exhale, drop that left elbow down. Maybe that right elbow comes up to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Inhale, come on up. And on your exhale, we're going to twist open to the right. Inhale up or straight and exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, come on back to center. Bring those elbows in and drop them down on your knees. Bend those knees like you're about to hike a football, I assume. Can't really speak from experience, but this is what I imagine. I'm ready. And then slowly on your next inhale, I want you to let that right arm reach up towards the ceiling. Bend those knees a lot. We'll start from this position first. And then, once you feel comfortable, if you want something different, maybe you encourage that right leg to straighten, and maybe you feel a different sensation that's a good thing to explore. Give yourself one more breath. And on your exhale, we can unravel the torso, bending the right knee and placing our right elbow down on the knee. Sink those hips down a lot. Crown of the head reaches away from the hips. And on your inhale, that left arm reaches up to the sky. Now sink those hips, reach up a little bit taller. Maybe that's right for you today. If that feels good and you want something different, start to straighten out that left leg. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, release now. Relax the head, neck, shoulders down. Bend the knees to the belly, rest on the thighs. And take your peace sign fingers and curl them around your big toes. Now from here, with the belly on the thighs and the head looking between the legs, start to lengthen the legs. Shake out the head, yes and no. Even a gentle shifting of toes to heels. Now, as much as you're pulling up with those hands, I encourage you to press down with the big toes. So there's that complementary motion that you're creating. Take one more deep breath in. And out. Slowly relaxing hands from the toes, hands to the thighs, rolling up to standing, reaching the arms up to the sky, and exhale, hands come down. You know, anytime we're in a forward fold or a back bend of any kind, twists are a beautiful complementary motion to do after them, so I encourage you to just let that torso rock side to side. Now, if you're overextending yourself, let the feet move as well to pivot. Give yourself a moment. Then we'll come into center. And I want you to have your feet about shoulder distance apart and to give yourself a little bounce. Now, normally we blast some music right here, but it's kind of nice to do this. I know that when I'm walking in the woods, I'll usually stop listening to the sound of birds, to the sound of the wind, to feeling that breeze on my face, the sun on my face, and I bounce. It's so good for your lymphatic system. It's so good for our bodies 
to get that little bounce. The dance clubs have it right. I can't wait until they're all open, says the person with the three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> one day, though. One day. And you can get a little bit bigger if you want. This is a beautiful thing to do before a workout, after a workout, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, just to let everything settle. Notice what you're hanging on to. Shake your hands. And sometimes you feel silly when you're doing this, but look, hey, I'm doing it in front of Facebook land. And the thing is, get out of your comfort zone. Some of the coolest things happen when you're like, wow, I never expected myself to do this. Give yourself another 10 seconds, that's it. 10 seconds, what's there to lose? For five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to pause. I want you to feel that little like electricity through the body. It's energy that we create. It's a way to us, for us to funnel things out, to process, to move, and to be. Notice, take a deep breath in and out. On your inhale, circle, sweep arms up to the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, hinge through the center, forward fold. Slide your hands to your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the ground, step your feet back. Now you could choose to do a push-up flow or not, right? You can meet in down dog, shift forward if you wanna do it. Inhale, exhale, high plank, low plank. Flip the feet, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, sweep right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, we're going to bring that shin to the front of our mat. We're going to come into pigeon. So releasing that left leg back. You can even tuck the toe. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Maybe offering blocks underneath the right hip, the right glute. So for many weeks, we've been doing it on our back. And you might choose to go there. Or you might choose to be on the belly and offer yourself blankets and support. Wherever you are, can you celebrate that your body is here? Whether we're doing it or not, it doesn't matter because we're here connecting to our breath. The expectation is that we connect and we breathe. In the process of settling into our pigeon is about creating length rather than trying to stretch by force. So once you kind of get your mind around the fact that some places feel tighter than others, you might start to notice that you can actually soften some of those places that are screaming. And once you soften it a little, you realize you're not going to break, especially if you have support. And then you can start to become soft rather than panicked. Let the jaw soften, the lips to soften, the shoulders to soften. Maybe even a gentle wiggling of the right toes can be nice, just to remind yourself you don't need to hang on so hard. Or you can shift if it feels too much. Take a deep breath in. And out. Now we'll slowly take our time. 
pressing into our hands. Letting the torso flower open. And we're gonna tuck those left toes and step back, coming into our down dog. If you wanted to do a vinyasa flow from here, if you feel like that's what calls to you today, feel free. Or you might pedal through and just feel the opening of the hips. And we'll get ready to do this on the other side. So we're gonna sweep that left leg up to the sky. Inhale, and on your exhale, tuck the knee in towards the left wrist. And then I use my right leg to pull back, pull back, pull back. And then you can offer block support underneath that left hip as you slowly start to settle into this position. As you settle into this position, again, I like to wiggle my toes on the front leg, that left leg, and that can just help to remind ourselves we don't have to be so forceful. If the knee has a lot of pressure in it, you always have the option to bring the knee closer to that right hip, the right hip flexor, and that might feel like a better place for you. Alternatively, you can do it on your back, crossing into a figure four. Wherever you are, notice the conversation that you have with yourself. Notice every exhale can give you space to unravel. Relax the jaw and the shoulders. And we'll slowly take our time, pressing our hands into the mat and lifting up, tucking the right toes and stepping that left foot back. Release the knees to the ground and we'll lower down onto our bellies. Now you can bring your hands underneath the head and bend the knees and just windshield wiper the feet side to side. Just finding this moment of rotation from within the lower back, within the hips, or even, I like to do a little jiggling and just letting there be like the legs down and just kind of finding shifting within the hips can feel really good. Now from here, we're going to lift our torso up and bring our elbows underneath our shoulders, almost in sphinx, almost. And then you have two options. You can press into your knees coming into forearm plank, option one. Option two, you can tuck your toes and you can find forearm plank with the toes on the ground. And from here, we're gonna shift forwards and backwards for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come into center, drop the hips down, and we'll come into Sphinx. So I want you in Sphinx to press into the elbows. Gaze can go slightly down. So I want you to follow the line of your neck and tuck the pelvis. So if there's any kind of 
um, lower back pain, the more you squeeze those glutes and tuck the pelvis, the more you alleviate any kind of pressure there. Again, press into those elbows. Notice how you lift up and away. Take a deep breath in and out. On your inhale, palms come down, elbows splay open, head and torso come down, the hands act as a pillow, bend your right knee, and use the right hand to grab onto the top of the foot, finding a quad stretch right here. Now I want you to think about this as a lengthening of the thigh and of the hip flexor rather than compression in the knee. So think about lengthening the knee away from the hip. We're trying to add length to create a stretch. And the more you can kind of press that right hip flexor down into the mat, the more opening you'll start to feel. Take a deep breath in. And out. One more deep breath in. And on your exhale, slowly releasing right hand from the foot. Right hand can go under the head, left knee bends. Left hand goes and grabs it. And again, those same rules apply. We're trying to create a stretch within that left quad and hip flexor. So if it doesn't feel good to be grasping and clenching into the knee, use a strap. Grab onto the pant leg rather than the foot. You can still get so much opening without having so much excess pressure. Soften the jaw. Take a deep breath in. And out. And one more deep breath in. In, out. Slowly relaxing that left foot. You can bend the knees, windshield wiper feet side to side. And then we'll push into our hands and knees. Press up tabletop position, finding maybe a few cats and cows, or if you want to circle it out, creating big sweeping circles. Do what feels right for you, for your hips, for your body, for your lower back. We ask a lot from ourselves each and every day. And we give back to ourselves each and every day so that we can fill our cups, so that we feel like life has a reciprocation. Take one more deep breath in. And out. When you're ready, we're just going to bring our glutes down. And so you can turn away from me if you're in class. If you're in TV land, feel free to do whatever feels best for you. Now we're going to come into reverse tabletop position with the palms down, fingers facing forward towards the glutes, knees are bent, and you're just going to this time lift your hips a few inches. Just a few inches. Now from here, just four of these. We are going to bend our elbows and let the butt come down to a hover, and then we're going to lengthen the arms lifting up. So we bend our arms and then we come back up. And just two more. Keep it nice and simple. Down and up one more time. Down and up. Now drop the hips down. Release the hands and we're going to lower down onto our backs, hugging knees into the chest. Letting the knees rock side to side. And when you're ready, just dropping those knees over to the right side, finding a twist that feels right for you and your body. Knees could be stacked, they could be staggered. And 
And you can just adjust Taking a deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, letting those knees lift and letting them go to the other side. And as they go to the other side, feel free with any kind of movement that feels right for you with the twist knees to the left. Maybe you open and close the jaw a few more times. So notice how maybe some tension leaked back there. And that's the practice. The practice is coming back to the place you've already been and just checking in. How am I today? How are you today? Even if the sun's shining, we might not want it. <laughs> or if it's rainy, we might have a gorgeous day. But it's just tapping in. Slowly letting those knees lift, coming back. Give those knees a squeeze into the chest. And as you're ready, extend the arms and extend the legs. Find a full, long stretch of the body opening up. And then as you're ready, just opening your body into your Shavasana. Finding any kind of placement that feels right for you. Arms can open up to the sides, palms up. Support underneath lower back, support underneath the calves. There is healing in the laying of hands, in the letting go of fear, in asking for help, in silence, celebration, or prayer. There is healing in speaking the truth and in keeping still, in seeking sunlight, and not shunning struggle, laughter and the affirmation of wholeness hold their own healing. When the soul dances, when the day begins in delight, when love grows and cannot be contained, when life flows from one moment to moment, healing happens in the space between thoughts 
and in the breath before the first sung note. Healing is a birthright and a grace. When we dare to be open to the unknown, when we extend ourselves in caring, when we welcome in the vast expanse of life, healing comes from the heart and blossoms from the inside out. Donna Falls, Healing. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And start to just explore the body, maybe wiggling fingers or toes, or maybe you just want to flop over onto one side or the other into your fetal position. And you can choose to stay where you are or encouraging your body to come up to a seated position. Bringing your hands into Anjali Mudra and letting it rest right at your third eye. May we find grace within each moment. May we find our breath love and compassion. I hope today's class resonated with you. I hope that we can find a little yoga and breath throughout our day so that we may know peace. All that I am bows so deeply to all that is within you. Namaste.